Hi, I'm James, and today I am looking at this, which is the HP 255G7 laptop. And I'm going to start by flipping it over. And the first step we need to take is the removal of the base. Now, what we're going to do is take our little plastic spudger and both of these rubber feet on the base of the laptop need to come off because we have a number of screws located underneath. Now the, the adhesive here has actually stuck on the laptop so what we'll do is peel that up to get access to the screws below. This one, it's come off with the feet so we will place that out the way and then we just need to go along and remove these screws from the base. Now what I normally do is, although a lot of these screws will all be the same, I always just keep them to one side in the basic arrangement that I have removed them, which tends to just make them a little bit easier to replace as well. This is actually a brand new laptop as well. I've bought this specifically to take a look at here on the channel. So if, if there is anything you want to know about the machine, do just let me know in the comments and I, I try to get around to answering questions as and when I can. So now if we flip the machine back over and we are going to take our plastic pry tool and starting at the front, just push in between the little edge, between the base and the palm rest and just gently work our way around releasing the plastic clips like so um, using a nice plastic tool is much better um, then sort of a metal tool just because you are less likely to make marks on the plastic. Um, obviously it's always a little bit awkward just working around trying not to get too in the way of the camera. So with that side release we can now go round to the other and again Now with the bulk of that done, we are now going to flip the machine back over and just try to gently get 
go. And lift off the base as so. Now what we can see is we have the M2 2280 SSD down in this corner and by undoing this screw here we can lift up and slot out the SSD. Now the standard SSD in this particular machine is a SATA drive and we're just going to replace it because we are not actually changing that at this moment but this is a SATA um, SSD however the system is also available in configurations which have a NVMe SSD and appears to be keyed to fit those as well um, so it should be possible to fit an NVMe drive into these as well now this particular model of the 255G7 does not have a hard drive built in. We can see some of the bracketry is still included, um, so you can physically connect a drive into this bracket. However, it would be necessary to order the hard drive cable which connects to this connector here and the connector board. Um, so these can normally be found for sale online, either through eBay or perhaps possibly from HP. Um, I will be sure to put the part numbers in the listing below but basically it would be necessary to remove this board and replace it with the hard drive connector board, lift out the wireless LAN card, connect the hard drive cable into this connector here by flipping up the cable uh, the connector, insert the cable and flip it back down. You can then fit your hard drive, screw it into these two mounting points here, connect it to the connector board and you are good to go. So since we're not doing any of that though I'm going to just refit the boards. This board needs to be refitted making sure it's pressed over these two plastic lugs. Refitting the battery, we make sure we press in under these plastic clips and then refit the screws. Once we've finished working on the machine, all that remains is to refit the base the base we want to line up just making sure it fits over the ports on the side and then to just press down to engage as many clips as we can flip it back over and just make sure all around is clipped back into place and once we are happy with that all that remains is to flip things back over and go around the chassis refitting the screws and the rubber feet. I hope you found this video useful and um, if you have any questions on this laptop do be sure to let me know and of course I'll be happy to answer any questions as and when I have the time to do so. Um, do also check out the other videos on this channel. I've done quite a few videos looking inside this particular laptop. And we have lots of other sort of Intel and AMD integrated graphics testing and other content on the channel. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on the HP 255 G7. And thanks for watching.